Hello, my name is Luke Howes and I'm an infrastructure application engineer here at CADLINE. And today we're going to be looking at a method to extract the points from a surface and actually create ourselves an ASCII file, whether this is a .txt or a .csv file. In front of me you can see I have a surface preloaded. I've set the style to triangulation and points. Now this is important, we must have the points displayed on our style, otherwise we can't extract the data. With the surface selected in front of us, I'm going to move to the contextual ribbon at the top. And we have the tool here, Extract from Surface. Using the drop down, I can then come down to the Extract Objects tool. You'll see that I have the border, the triangles and the points all available to me. These are the display that I currently have set for my surface. This is an exercise just to extract the points. So we can untick the other two and just press OK. As I've done that, it's now extracted the points from this surface, so I'm just going to turn this off just to show you what it's done behind us. So there you go, everywhere we had an intersection on our triangles, we now have a point. However, these are only simple ACAD points. If I click on them, there's no point style, there's nothing else available to us. Other than the X, the Y and the Z in our properties. The next step for this exercise then is to actually convert these from standard ACAD points into COGO points which stands for coordinated geometry. Now I do this using the points drop down and the points creation tool itself. There are a few settings we have to tweak before starting so we're going to run through the menus and then set these up ready for extraction. The default layer I'm just going to use the current one however if you have a designated points layer you can then assign this one. The points creation I'm going to make sure that my northing and easting is set to the UK standard so it's easting and northing and longitude and latitude. The next one that's important for this exercise is the prompt for levels. It's currently set to manual. Now there are over 4,000 points in the surface I'm using and I don't want to be asked 4,000 times whether I'd like to accept or change that value on the z-axis. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change it to automatic. I'm going to leave the prompt for names off and the prompt for description I'm just going to set to automatic object. I don't have to worry about the default level in this exercise as the level will be taken on the Z value of each of the ACAD points themselves. I can add an description, so I'm just going to add that this is the existing ground points. If this was for a top surface for a corridor or anything else, you could just add those descriptions in and it will be applied to the point naming. Point styles and point naming format aren't that important for this exercise, but what is important is the point identity. Now if there are existing points in this drawing already, It'd be sensible to apply an offset identifier such as a thousand or five thousand just so that we have a separating factor between the existing points and the ones we are now creating. Just eases the export exercise. Now that I've made all these changes to my create point settings, I'm going to come down to the very first drop down in my create points tool and down towards the bottom I have one that says convert AutoCAD points into Kogo points. So I'm going to click on this one, just going to move my toolbar out of the way. And I'm simply just going to select all of my ACAD points from the drawing and press enter. It'll take a little second just for it to process and when it goes to those big yellow crosses it means it's changed. I just press enter to terminate the command and I'll close my point creation window. As I zoom in now you can see that there is the standard 2D and 3D cross. And if I highlight one of these now it's now listed as a Kogo point rather than the standard ACAD point. You can see I've got my description for my existing ground listed in there along with the point number itself. Down the bottom, my easting, my northing and my elevation set for me. So the next stage for this is now to export these into an ASCII file. As I said earlier, this can be a .txt or a .csv file. We now have points in the drawing, so they are listed up here and I have them included in my points group. These are the only points available to me in this drawing, so it's very simply a case for me just to right hand click on all of my points and use the export tool. Now if there are other points in this drawing, it probably makes sense to separate these into a separate point group using the raw description just to filter those out and then explore in that specific point group. So I'm going to click on export points, I'm going to set the format I'd like, so this is going to be my point, my easting, my northing and my elevation with a comma delineated and I'm going to set where I'd like to actually save it to. I'm just going to drop it here on my desktop. Down at the bottom here as well, I can actually choose which type of file format I'd like to save in. I typically tend to save in a TXT, but you can see here we have a CSV, XYZ, PNT files. 
all available to us. I'm going to leave that there and I'm just going to call this room on my existing ground. I'm going to press open just to get back to this menu. If I had separated my point groups I could then list them. Uh, for this exercise as I said we only have the points from this one surface extraction. I'm going to press OK and it's going to have created the text file for me. If I drop down to my desktop you'll see it there, my existing ground and there are all the points with their eastings, northings and elevations available to me all the way down to the bottom and as I said there's about 4,000 in here in fact 4,652 just to show you that this has now worked I'm going to come into the drawing I'm going to create a new drawing I'm going to create myself a new surface again existing ground from file I'm going to leave it triangulated and I'm going to press OK I'm going to expand out my surfaces to my definitions right hand click on point files and add in the point file from my desktop. There we go, my existing ground.txt. I'm going to open that one up, remembering the format that I set previously, the PENZD, uh, sorry, PENZ, Delimited. Press OK. Let's brought that into the drawing and I just do a zoom extent, and there I have an exact replica of the surface I had previously.